Today we are looking at reading the scale. Now, scale could be on a ruler, like I have a ruler here, I can have scale, as you can see, uh, centimeters given there, or millimeter, or I can have a scale in inches. Now, we could have a ruler that uh, is measuring scale, could have a tip measure, right? So we could have uh, units in centimeters, we can have units in millimeters, we can have units in meters, and so on. However, we can also have a beaker, where it could be in milliliters, right? And we can be measuring milliliters. In a car, we have that speed meter, right? Which is usually in kilometers per, per hour. And then we can also measure the centigrade and the Fahrenheit. Now, how do we measure scale? One, we look at the main readings, like our reading number one here is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then, we look at the spaces between each value. From zero to one, we have one, two, three, four, five spaces. And our main reading is one. That we have five spaces. Now, if we divide by five, this will mean on each space we have 0 0.2. This will mean 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 to 1. The red arrow is showing our pointer. That's the reading we are interested with. This means it will be 4.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. And our reading will be 4.6 centimeter. Let's look at the second one. If you look from one main value to another, it's 10. That means we shall have unit 10 divided by the spaces. And according to here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces. That means from each space, we have 2 units. Hence, 0, 2, 4, 6. 8, 10. Our main arrow is pointing at 32, 34. Hence, our reading here will be 34 millimeters. When we look at this other example, we can see the main reading is 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. That means from one main reading to another main reading, it's one unit. And if you check the small spaces we have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we shall divide by ten, giving us 0 0.1 for each space, meaning 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1. Now, when you look at our main reading, right, from 1, 1.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, then 1.7 will be our main reading. 1.7 meters. Now, when we come to the beaker, beaker carries liquid. Now, liquid can be filled to a certain level, right? Now, we want to see how much quantity has been filled in the beaker. As you can see, our main reading on the beaker is 0 to 2, to 4, to 6. Then we have a gap of 2. Now, these two, and how many spaces between do we have? 5. Meaning, divide by 5. Giving us, for each gap, it will be... 0 
point four. Hence, if this main reading is four, and the next one is will be four point four. Let's go to second big. Main reading is five, and the spaces are five, meaning. Each space will carry one full unit. Hence, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will be eight milliliters. Now, what if we're driving a car and the speed meter of the car that shows kilometers per hour? If you look closely, you can see a main reading from 0 to 50 to 100 to 150, meaning that the main reading is 50. Now, this main reading, we should divide to the number of spaces. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Giving us that each space will be carrying 10 kilometers per hour. That is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, meaning our, our unit reading is 70 kilometers per hour reading. Now, when you come to this other smaller one, this could be perhaps a motorcycle. That's why it has only 0, 20, 40, and 60. But you can see we're reading the gap of 20, but still each gap is only 5. Hence, for each gap, we shall have 4. 0, 4, 8, 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. But now we shall stop at 4, 8, 12. Means it will be it will be driven at 12 kilometers per hour. But how much is it raised? Again, we shall look at main reading, that is 5, because 10, 15, 20. But, how many gaps do we have between 10 to 15? Again, there are 5, meaning each gap will be represented 1. Hence, if I am at 20, this will be 21, 22, 23 degrees Celsius. And finally, if I have Fahrenheit, again, we can see the gap is 10. So, 10 divided by 5 spaces, it will give me 2, meaning 102, 104, 106, 108, 110. Hence, my measure is at 102 and 104. This will be 104 degrees Fahrenheit. This is how we simply read given simple scales. My name is Mr. Ishengoma. If you like my simple discussion, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you.